Hey everybody, AmpreyPureGuy.com, 203-892-4119, also HarbachElectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So we have a AL80B amplifier in for repair. Great amps. This is an older one. Customer said tube was glowing, strong plate current, negative grid current, so the uh, Bias transistor has failed. Needs new SO239s. So, okay, it'll get new ones from Max Gain Systems. So, he said he's using it and stop keying. He'd have to flip the standby operate switch to get it to start working again. I explained that so the Grid overload board operates, but he said sometimes it would not reset. So, I'm sure it has to do with the transistor failure. He kept having to do it over and over. Um, so, I'm going to take that out, explain that it's not needed for this amp. And, uh, you know, if you have a, an amp with a fragile grid tube like an 811 or an indirectly heated cathode tube like an 800 or an 8877, that's a different story. So I'll remove the metal oxide variistors. I'm going to add gas discharge tubes, ground the grids right to the metal. The plate on the air variable is um, really rough. One second here. I'm sorry, I know people with, just love my, my videos here when I go all over the place with the camera. Let's see if you can see it. It's badly damaged. Customer said, can you file it? Problem with this amplifier is I have to take the capacitor out to file it. And then if I put it in and it continues to arc, then I have to do it all over again. And remember, I'm going into a 50 ohm load, so it might not arc here. And then they get it back and they don't have a perfect 50 ohm load at the output of the amplifier. And then they're like, Scott, what's going on? Da, da, da. You know, so. Trust me, I'd rather not have to change it. I don't really charge much to change it, you know, beyond the flat rate to go through one. So, really, I'd rather be safe than sorry. The pointer is rubbing up against the front panel, so the knob is loose, so I'll fix that too. So, I'll clean the band switch and the input rotary switch with the aux gold. Okay, so I'm just gonna get started. I'm gonna put my music on and uh, start jamming away. Okay, so stay tuned, I'll see you guys soon. Please like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned. Forgot to add, customer wired this for 240. So he left one of the leads from when it was wired for 120. I'm fix them. All right, so I'll fix that right there. Might change those two, I'm not sure yet. Okay, see you guys soon. Stay tuned. So I have I have the load capacitor removed. Uh, already under the set screws, so do it by hand. Kind of hard to see, but there's the damage. Curled over pretty good. So I want to show you from the factory, the alignment is off between the vernier reduction drive and the shaft. So I will correct that. It'll end up pulling the plastic phenolic piece off the splines on the steel portion of the shaft. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna get back to work. See you guys soon. New cap is installed. I just have to make the connection from the back of it up to the up at network, but alignment issue resolved. I put in Phillips head screws so I could crank it really tight. Okay, so and you always want the screws that mount the cap to the chassis to be really tight also. Okay, so I'll be back. We're back with the completed Ameritron A80B. Customer wants to see it working on 20 meters. Radio set to 20 meters, roughly 90 something watts. Audio hello, hello, hello. 
There are the settings. Audio hello, 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 audio hello, 1KW, 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 bird 43, bird PP kit. Hello, hello, hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. Yeah, high voltage. And she's working as she should. One more time. Hello, 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 hello. Hey, so I'll let it cool off and I'll show you the inside. See you soon. Okay, so we're back with the completed Americhan LADB. Checked it on all bands, works as it should. Okay, so new air variable capacitor, grounded the grids right to the metal, the nuts were loose. Okay, added the gas discharge tubes. Clean the output rotary switch switch, clean the input rotary switch. Move the metal oxide variators. Fix solder joints, tighten hardware, air variable cap, uh, capacitors, uh, the hardware was loose. Also, the load side, when, you take, when I took it out, it just spun. There was like no tension on the part that rotates. So, I loosened the nut in the rear and snugged up on the screw a little bit, made sure they're still centered. And uh, retighten the nut. Fix the alignment on the other shaft, added screws so I could crank them real tight, set screws. And uh, that's all set. Place the SO239s with brand new ones from Max Gain Systems. Customer is going to get a brand new Pentalab tube. Awesome, awesome company. Clean the TR slash bias relay with Deoxy Gold. Soft start relay with Deoxy Gold. Change the bias transistor. That was shorted. Right, the old SO239s and old transistor. Remove the grid overload board. Touched up on solder joints. Fix the jumper right there. So, that's about it. If you need an amp repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. It's 203-892-4119. Websites are amprepairguy.com and also harbachelectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe.